Oh, that was fucking gross. I'm sorry, guys. Groovy, <laughs> baby. Oh, my God. You good? You yeah, yeah, I'm good. <laughs> ASMR. Huh? We're over here tapping in with KWJT Puget Sound from Space. I'm over here with Corey, and you're tapping in with Tavares. I think we're gonna add and slide in with Solana to that one because you gotta re-record. We need yeah, we need to put this on the intro. It's been overdue. Welcome, gang. Okay. I'm sorry for that. Uh, just had a. A thought, so brain fart. Uh, I don't have a role welcome to the new episode. Another week is upon us. It's a groovy, very, very fucking groovy Saturday. Here we have my brother Corey mm. and our new guest and new friend, Big Jones, in the building. Come so, on. everybody, yeah. please welcome the man. Yes, Come sir. On. Welcome, welcome. Of course, I just want to start off by uh, thanking all our supporters for a very great January. Um, we appreciate y'all. We want to start off every podcast with just an appreciation of you guys. Ooh. And because because you guys really do it for us. Come on. Um, you guys really have shown immense support, and we love each and every one of y'all. Yes, if you're subscribed, if you like, if you share, um, and you're not subscribed, you're a hoe. Um, just you want, subs- subscribe. You want gelato or you want drama? Do I want the gelato 33 or the drama queen? <laughs> Hmm. Well, I think I want the drama bro, queen don't, today. Don't, bro, don't. Don't do that. Don't, don't, don't do that. Don't, like, no. That's not the way. That's not the way? That's not the way. My bad. Okay. <laughs> well, welcome, everybody. Thank you for that uh, crazy introduction. Uh, you can get to it at the top if you want. Oh, hell yeah. I'm about well, to start rolling. Ooh. Big Jones, we want to uh, start off with some business, so... Um, <laughs> what? Please what? talk about the uh, winners can't lose and Ooh. and that uh, and how you felt about your project dropping. Uh, that one was a project where I planned out basically everything hella tough, like more than I ever have any other project. I want to say that was my eleventh project dropping. So like, you just learn through the times of dropping projects what to do, what not to do. So with the winners can't lose, I just made sure I. Took all the game and all the knowledge I soaked up from the other 10 projects and put it all on that one. And I just felt like um, everything from, like, the execution to the rollout, it just all went to how I planned. And I didn't know it would be dropping during, like, the pandemic and shit. Mm -hmm. So, like, that kind of made me, like, hesitant. Not really because I didn't think people would cop it, but I knew I was going to do merch. So I'm, like, I'm asking people to invest in my shit during the pandemic, like, And it was my first time ever doing merch. Like, I've been doing music 12 years, but that was my first time doing merch. Mm-hmm. So it was like, I was kind of nervous. Like, how's this going to go during pandemic? Right. Sold out in a week. <laughs> so, like, it was cool. I was like, okay, I know I could do this right now. I did, like, uh, come yeah, on. you know. Come hey, on, gotta let it ring Y'all got the gunshot? You know? No, we don't got See, so I did. I watched too much of Joe Budden's podcast, and I feel like I'd be stealing sauce. I feel it. I feel it. Hey, I shouldn't have even said that, man. We don't need the gunshot. No, it's good, though. It's. I, we need to. I need to figure out a sound like that's the gunshot. Like you know? uh, takes it there. Come on, that, but that's nah. Groovy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, something. But yeah, that's all. Uh, I just feel like it was everything I wanted it to be. Like everything turned out perfect. I thank God for that for aligning everything to come through how I planned and bring the vision to life. Uh, I think the um, one unnoticed and underrated aspect of that was uh, your cover art. Mm-hmm. Um, Shout out Austin Yeah the the painting itself Or I don't know if it was a painting But uh, Or it might be like A digital painting I'm not too sure I don't know the terms But it's, um, A graphic bro, design Bro gra- Bro bro, drew it And Made it into design. the I, I don't want to fuck up What he did By describing it wrong But he just He, he did that shit all by hand it Took him hella time Like That's fucking yeah. wild The way he had like The iPhones in the crowd With yeah. me on the yeah, iPhones yeah, yeah, yeah. Like hella detailed the no faces. Yeah, yeah. And then, like, the different color arms and shit mm-hmm. just to show, like, you know, a little diverse and shit. Come on. The, the fan base type shit. <laughs> Come on. So, yeah, it was dope. 
Um, he, he's do, he's doing my cover art for the next project too. Like it's about to mm-hmm. just be my cover art guy for, and he did my merch. Uh, he designed the merch too. Oh, fire! And, and I went through him with all that. So, uh, is it important to you to find people that you work uh, really well with and can just execute like your idea and just add something to it? Definitely. Like I'm always one where, like I'm always down if you're if if you're more skilled than me in something, take like. Put your put that on there. Like don't don't hold back because me or whatever. Okay. Like, you know, so I, I just give an idea to the graphic designer or whatever. And then I was like, This is my two cents, whatever, but you do what you do. Exactly. And then like at the end of the day, just like shoot it back to me. If it's something I don't like, we'll just get it nixed off. If I do fuck with it, we just keep it and then it's, Easy money. It's your shit, yeah. That's fire. I yeah. love uh I love that because when you work with people, um we've we've tried to get graphic designers and it's very, um, they always want it, like, very cookie cutter. And I, I was like, nah, like, I picked you for a reason. Go crazy. Like, mm-hmm. like this is my concept, but I want it however you would freestyle it and yeah. freak it. Yeah. I find that that's very important to just, like. It, it definitely takes both. Like, you can't just ask a, you can't just have a, uh, somebody tell them, like, I, I want this. And then, like, leave it to them sometimes. You yeah. got to put your creativity in it, too. That's Facts. what makes it all dope. Because, like, at the end of the day, it's the representation for you. So you put your idea on it, like that's like your stamp on the art. So Facts. That's how I feel. Hold this, don't so I don't drop it. Well, y'all want to hit it? Of course. So as creators for yourselves, you two, um, how uh, important is creative freedom to the vision? I believe uh, it's definitely very important, just because, like, like for instance, like with my senior year, I wrote my senior paper on. Uh, censorship mm-hmm. and how I didn't like censorship um, because like if someone's like saying like a cuss word or whatever they're saying it's there for a reason to put some passion or whatever like you could tell like the context or whatever like words are words for a reason I don't mm-hmm. care I don't believe in like the whole like I mean I do because I got kids so I gotta teach like the, the bad words yeah. don't say that shit <laughs> but like you know I just feel like in general like words is words so like they're all meant to be somewhere for a reason if if something happens, you're like, oh shit, it's different than like being like, darn. Yeah. <laughs> so you know, like it's just shit like that. So I don't know. For so what you're saying, like uh, having control, I feel like it's kind of that same thing. Cause like censorship, they be bleeping out, controlling what 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 people hear from you, substituting some shit. But I'm like, man, I like all full me. Like whatever I put on there, like that's what I want to get out. That's what I want to put out. I love that. Uh, I would agree. Um, I don't believe in changing a narrative um because i just i love authenticity and i love people telling their like honest story and their and their story Mm -hmm. um whatever way possible ugly good like good bad and ugly because that's that's literally life like i don't i have this conversation with tavares all the time but i don't like the i guess the pc-ness of the world um just on just that that curves people from like learning new things and learning how to get rid of bad habits and it stops someone from wanting to get into things that they just didn't know and be informed with when you just like be like, ah, oh, no, nah, you're fucking dumb. Cause you said it that way. Or mm-hmm. that's lame because, uh, we do it this way. And it's just like, I didn't fucking know. Like I just got here. I put my two cents out of there. I'm glad you co- corrected me, but now I don't want to change. Now I want to ride this like fuck you wave. So, you know, you, yeah. you stop people being, accepted in thing and learning things so i'm not really for the the changing of art especially when it comes to art like when it comes to like yeah because that's just expression like there's you can put whatever you want um how you take someone's art but Mm -hmm. that's their expression and that's what makes art so dope like when like uh, art shows and shit you Mm -hmm. be walking by the paintings like there's a thousand people in there there's a thousand different uh like reactions what they got from that one piece of art like nobody's thinking the same shit so and the artists, you don't know what they was thinking when they did it. <laughs> exactly. Uh, so I always love when people just, like, put their art out there and don't really explain it unless it becomes, like, unless it's, like, years and years later and you're, like, I was working with these concepts. Mm-hmm. Like, this is what I was thinking in, yeah. like, this year and that yeah, decade. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I feel like artists meant to be controversial and, like, make you think and make you go, fuck, I hate that person. Mm-hmm. Because I don't understand, like, I, I, it's supposed to inv- invoke emotion. Um, so to answer your question, I would love if, like, people expressed themselves and just was like, oh, shit, that's how I felt in that year at that moment yeah. or that day. Like, unless you are, like, habitually saying some, like, craziness and some, like, ah, yeah, get yeah. the fuck out of here type shit. Just Tommy Lauren, just, bitch. Just, like, don't give no fuck. <laughs> can't give I no think fuck. Uh, 
creative freedom is one of the healthiest uh, outlets. Mm. Um, because it's it's you in the most raw form. Mm-hmm. So once you get that chance and opportunity to finally like put yourself all out there, you know. Yeah. Everyone has their mask. You know, mm. it's not necessarily a facade, but we all we all have a different version of ourselves when we're around people. Um, so. You're hella fake. Uh, I think that shit's wild. <laughs> I think people should um, express more creative freedom and learn to be comfortable with themselves mm-hmm. because we're moving in a world where everything's on display. Yeah. Um, and, you know, uh, I think. I think everyone got the chance to finally um, be put in the uh, like a certain lane. This pandemic, mm. I think it was. I think it was a, a a time for creatives to shine, to where there's something that's pushing against the status quo, and mm. like uh, society is like moving, um, basically doing a flip flop, uh, because now our whole society was built on capitalist uh, venture. And now that we have something that's stopping us from having an economy, mm. there's people in their homes creating right now. Yeah. I didn't know what uh, what point I was trying to make there. Um, I like where you were going, though. That I, like, uh, yeah, yeah. I like where yeah. you were going, though. Uh, uh, I'm like, oh, you like, know? Having that conversation, <laughs> uh, I think, and getting that off my chest because now I'm Come back on. into, like, working flow. Come so, on. like, being unemployed... And working on something for like nine months, yeah. whether it been my music or this groovy tapes, yeah. have have been a f- has been a fucking journey. Mm-hmm. It's been s- the craziest experience of my life, yeah. low key. That's dope though. Like this is You're gonna look back on this. This is like a forever. surreal moment. Mm-hmm. Um, man, talk about our Seahawks, bro. What happened, bro? <laughs> what happened, bro? <laughs> hey, my guy, my guy Jones is a huge Seahawks hey. fan. So, Man. you know, it's only right I come through and talk <laughs> about our fucking Seahawks because... Man, it's some crazy shit. Please, please I tell mean, me. like honestly, man, we started off so you nice. You have really good uh, sports takes, hey, by the thank way. Thank you, bro. Uh, I be having hella hot takes, but a lot of my like hot predictions be coming true. Because yeah, like, you know the sports exactly. And when like, you know the sports and you felt it before, like man. you understand, like things can change in, in at any moment in sports. Yeah, that's why it's kids games. Yeah, and that's why <laughs> it, shit can anything can happen. So like, it's crazy, and that's how I felt about this season. Seahawks because they started off like five and one I think or like mm-hmm. maybe even six and zero. Oh. I think it was I think it was five and zero. Oh. Five there was five and zero oh, and then yeah, they lost and, one. Uh, Bills. Nah, the first loss might have been to Arizona. That was when we lost the overtime one. We went in overtime. Oh, you're right because then we played the Bills. Yeah, and you're then right. lost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we played that Arizona. overtime was janky. It's because we had the field goal opportunity or something like that. We missed. They missed. We got the ball back. We didn't score, and then. We're so not it, good in that stadium. Yeah, forever. The university niggas, niggas get Phoenix, hurt there all the time. What the fuck is going on, Arizona Cardinals? <laughs> get a real fucking stadium for your fucking sports team, no. you motherfuckers. That's how they win? And then we pull up. We pull up. Seattle always literally pulls how up. They win. Bro, it's literally how they win, bro. Yeah. Seattle always pulls up. We're feeling good. Ooh. It's great. We're about to pull Dang. up Arizona. Fuck the Cardinals. You feel me? There's a real bird in the town. Uh, Seahawks. Ah. Uh, like, bro. Uh, what? You know Come what's on. going on, bro. Come you already on. know what's going ah. on. What the fuck? We've been running the two tw- thousands. No, Get the fuck yeah. out of here. Um, and we lose. It's like, and we get ran. I and we just think... be in the stadium like, oh, shivering. I think, <laughs> I think, I think we're gonna be good next year. I think we're gonna be a uh, top contender. It was still a, it was still a no off season season mm-hmm. for everybody, but it was still a weird off season. They predicted we were gonna be three, three and thirteen. Nah. Going into this, who, who's, going into nah. the season, bro, who's who is disrespectful that? like that? Who's, uh, the PFF analysts. I don't, I don't it's believe it. Because we the, got a bad draft. Some of them um, shit. Don't, don't, yeah, they be looking at shit like that. I'm yeah. like, do you see who's on the team still? Though? And then they, they, they're like, oh, Russell don't have an O line. Oh, Russell don't have. Uh, Russell's never had all that. He's still never, never had a losing season. That's never he's the only on. quarterback to have that stat. Like. Talk. Talk to us. Niggas got to give him that credit, man. Give him his flowers. Man. People be trying to say Mahomes is better. I'm like, no. No. You got to do it as long as Russ been doing it. And he's shorter. I don't care. You got an MVP. You can't see past his linemen. Come on, man. And he's throwing darts down the field. Darts. But you know, that's that baseball background. And both him and Mahomes got that in common, too. Very true. Kyler Murray, Uh, too. Russell Russell Wilson is the model uh, QB. Him, uh, Cam Newton, and uh, Colin Kaepernick paved the way for these newer athletes. Yes. Um, triple threat quarterbacks. Ooh. <laughs> Mike Vick, really? 
Uh, Come on. Because he, he had oh, an arm. Oh, for sure. He I'm, had an I'm, arm. I'm more referring to, like, like, Mike Vick did that to Russell, Cam, and Colin. Mm. You feel me? Russell, Cam, and Colin now. Um, oh, you mean, are, like, being are, able to stay in the pocket still, mm-hmm. throw, and, well, uh, run, Their scramble. game translated into the Kyler, Patrick's, um, even Josh Allen. He's mobile. Fuck, yeah. Like, it's crazy. Josh Allen is like the is like our days. Like I mean, not our day. We, we was on Big Ben too, but he's like the newer generation's Big Ben. And Big Ben is po po. Hey. If you are watching this and you're from Pittsburgh, you're cool. <laughs> but if you wear Steelers shit, you're ass ass. <laughs> you're butt butt. I still hate the Steelers for Super Bowl forty. Bro, two of your two of your triple the killer bees. Two of the bees is in the Super Bowl. Get the fuck out of here. Fuck Pittsburgh. Two thousand five. We always remember. Ford Stadium. Man, Le'Veon Bell and uh and Antonio, Antonio Brown, Brown is really in the Super Bowl. Both in the Super wow. Bowl. Wow. That's a I, good that's a good acknowledgement for them cats. I didn't that's realize. That's perfect. They leave leave on, that weird ass white man alone. Come on. <laughs> ben Roethlisberger's a You see weird. Dwayne Haskins over there now? He's going to be fighting oh, yeah. for that job cuz well, he's going to take back. it. Hey. They they Wouldn't slept, that be some shit. They slept on uh, All Dwayne. he needed was Mike Tomlin. He needed someone. That'd be perfect. Um, I have been lost for the last 10 yeah. minutes, but it's vibes. <laughs> it's a vibe. We can switch it up. No, man. it's good. I, I, I can talk sports all No, day. it's uh, it's really good. Are, it's we like, getting, are we getting the Sonics, bro? Yeah, I think 2023. I'm buying them, bro. R- Russ. No, no, no. Bezos? No, R- there's Russ hella, gonna buy them. There's hella niggas trying to buy it. Bro, there's Russ hella, gonna be there's in hella on the cities that are trying to uh, pitch for that, b- 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 becoming the two Get, expansion team. Hold on, hold on. Get the fucking line. Get Back your bitch ass up. Line. <laughs> we'll fuck you up. On, we're on, first. We're, we're first. first. Off top. We have the best basketball culture. People that ain't even from Seattle want us to get a team. What's that weird ass fucking <laughs> um, city that said in, like that weird ass Texas team or Tennessee team? You're fucking behind us. Back Man. your bitch ass up. Back the fuck Man. up. Back up. Uh, yeah, back up. I think there's some teams Texas that's about got, to be on sale. It's like the maybe yeah. the Pelicans are trying uh, to. Minnesota? Like, Minnesota, uh, but they ain't leaving the city. The, they can't. Nah. The, that person was like, the owner was like, yeah. uh, whatever Minnesota you do, loves you can't their move. Team. They've always supported. KG even wants to bring a team to Seattle, though. Yeah. Everybody wants to bring the team. What's going on? I know. Everybody wants Mark to do it. You know, Mark, Mark Cuban's been like, hey, Seattle needs a team. How you be up here? Jeff Bezos might as well do it, though. Bro. Be that guy that brings Seattle uh, the Super Sonics you know? back. You'll be a fan. Hey, niggas, hey niggas, you'll niggas, be immortal. Nigga, Amazon everything you've done, everywhere. everything, <laughs> all the gentrification <laughs> that you Amazon on the jersey. I don't everywhere, give a fuck. Bring everywhere. Us, bring us NBA basketball back. Climate pledge. We please. got all the hoopers out here. We got an NHL team before we got a fucking. Uh, hey, the Kraken design and jerseys is, is dope, though. I'm yeah, gonna lie. The I Kraken's the, look crazy. I got I'm the merch already. We're about no, to go but crazy. I know what you're and saying. I'm about to start watching Why hockey now. Why the fuck that's some. I'm going to start going. I'm going to start watching hockey. You're going to see hella of us in the crowds yeah, going. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm trying to get ice side uh, seats, all the shit. Come on. I'm <laughs> there. I don't know if that's what it's called, but. I, I we there. Out. Fuck it. We got like Jesus and Barrow. As close as I can to the ice. I'm going to hit it. Drunk, <laughs> big pitcher. Over yeah. here throwing mitts. Uh, I'm going to see what the food's about. Before we continue, this uh, blunt is some drama queen from Tranquil. Shout out to Tranquil. Um, you know, we didn't uh, tune into our sponsorship. I don't know how to do sponsorship rollouts, but fucking buy some Tranquil. If you live in Seattle or if you live in Washington State, you should know about Tranquil and it's some Doty. Smoke some tranquil. Okay. We it has a, a, a hint of berry. Mm. What, what, you said this is the drama queen? Yeah, this is the drama queen. Yes. I've never had the drama queen. It's some fire. Bro. Yeah, All natural. You, you feel know? me? That's the first one. Hold on. First one ever recorded. I think you did great, brother. Come on. <laughs> I uh, witnessed that. So I want to talk about uh, in um, Ready Go, the music video, when you're on the farm with all the llamas. Uh, first of all, how long did you have to garden to get all those shots. Hey, <laughs> yeah. It looked like, like a hot day. A good, like, 30 minutes we spent on that shot alone because that was, like, hella shots. Shout out Swim Team. Um, Swim Team did that video, and he's hella just uh, into getting every scene perfect, which mm-hmm. is which is good because that's what you need in the video. So we do, I'm, I'm getting my acting shit on. Like, I really got to look like I'm... He's like, act like you're... I wasn't really cutting nothing. Oh, okay. Because it was my homegirl's backyard. Okay, so okay. I'm not really trying to, like, fuck up, the like, the yard. Yeah, yeah, But I got to act like... And I'm rapping <laughs> at the same time. Like, trying to, like, 
Hell, hella text me at a stop because I'm laughing and shit. Yeah. Like, the video was funny. It's fucking funny. So it fire. was just like, it was one of those, but it was hot as hell for sure. <laughs> yeah, I was like, that's a beaming and sunny like, day. Yeah, she had the, uh, she has like a little uh, farm type thing in her backyard and she yeah. had like the llamas and shit. So we found a way to incorporate that in the video. It was And fun. I had my homie Isaiah in the intro doing the booty cheese. Yeah, booty yeah, cheese. yeah, yeah, yeah. It was hella dope. <laughs> and that was all just like improv off the top. Like, oh, that's fire. Yeah. I noticed that you both, uh, you and Isaiah, work together a lot. No, uh, yeah, that, that's one of the close bros. For oh, sure. fire! Yeah. Um, have you always tried to? I've I've watched a bunch of your music videos, but have you always tried to implement some sort of co- uh, comedic area to it to make it a little more lively? When I do, or if I do, yeah. I'm calling Isaiah. Okay. But like, and he's been in like, um, there's a video he's been in too that just like isn't up anymore because like it was one of my old videos. Yeah. I just took it down at some point. I shouldn't have because like, man, but. He's been in that one. He's been in uh, One Cheek. Yeah. He's been in a few videos. Like, I can't even name them all, probably. But when I do, I, ca- I hit him crazy. up. Hey, appreciate you, bro. <laughs> when I do, I hit him up because he's just hella dope at the acting, comedic shit. Yeah. Like, and he does, like, improv. So he be really just in the moment coming up with shit off the top of his head, and he really be doing it. So That's, like, it's fucking him. fire. The yeah. the combo, is, like, always works. I like I like bringing in someone who's really, like, who I'm really cool with. So then it's, like, just chemistry is no no question. We're, we're not trying this for the first time. Exactly. Right? It's know? already there. You, you, can, you can really feel that on screen. Because when, exactly. when you did the cut scene in One Cheek, and he was just like, it can't. Fit in the, it, hey, it just felt like that that's was all him, that's all him, you that's know. All him. <laughs> gifted. Yeah. My bed is gifted. You know, let the, let the uh. This is me uh, throwing the flowers. Come on, man. Because we give them out here, man. To we got everyone. to, man. Got to. Uh, I always you, hey, man. You got to give flowers, man. Can you talk about uh, opening up for Metro Boomin? Oh, you. That that's shit was fire. Crazy. That shit was crazy. That was 2016. Um, my manager at the time hit me up. He was like, uh, I got you on. It was for Howard Homecoming weekend. So, like, Metro Boom was out there. He's like, I got you on the bill for for Booming. And I was like, where at? Like, I'm thinking, like, we're in Seattle. He's like, Howard Homecoming. I'm like, what? So, it was like, we uh, went out Howard there. Howard University? Yeah. Crazy. It was dope. We went out there, and uh, we did that show. I opened up for him. Metro came. And I, I thought I wasn't even going to, like, really meet him. I was just opening up for him. Yeah. And he was fucking with my set, so he, like, invited me and my manager up to, like, his, like, little area doing his set. So that was my first exposure to, like, seeing, like, how the how the big dogs be getting down and that yeah. shit. I'm like, okay, yeah, he got hella bitches and shit. Just, like, <laughs> hella bottles, hella hookah and shit. Yeah. Like, I don't smoke hookah, but I was just like, man, give me that shit. Like, <laughs> I did that night one time. Was, it was cool, though. It was just, like, a hella different experience and, like, he was also just hella humble. Like, the fact he just, like, let me, like, some, like, random person to him just, like, up in this section, like, in his space. Exactly. But it was cool. That's fire. Yeah, that shit was dope. Damn. That was my first time doing something out of state, too. And I had, like, I was sick the whole trip because every time I've traveled out of state, like, the first two times at least. Yeah. Uh, one time for that and then the second time to shoot a video in California. Both times I was just, like, hella sick. Like, hella, <laughs> like, uh, it was just, like, hella nerve. Yeah. That was my first because it just felt like I'm, like, that's when, like, it hit. Like, this shit's serious. Like. I'm getting flown out to places. We're we're flying places. We're doing shit like, and the, all those nerves are just like realizing like where you're at in the moment. It just hit me both times. I'm sick the whole trip, like throwing up and shit. But then we get to like shows. I'm good. You're good. We get to set for the video shoot. I'm good. But the rest, I'm like, nigga, uh, I'm in the hotel <laughs> both, both times. But it was dope. Yeah. DC, we got to see all the monuments and shit. Like, oh, that's fire. We walked around and shit. Like uh, I brought my bro Bakari out there, my bro Glenn. So and then we met my brother out there because he was living in Virginia at the time. So he just came up. So it was just doing That's everything, doing everything with the bros, man. It's always dope. We got, we got. yeah, man. <laughs> Gotta let that pause ring out. The experience always. <laughs> Take this a sensual sip, <laughs> man. Uh, how did it feel when you uh, first felt that moment um, where your uh, artistry was getting noticed? Mm-hmm. Um, that initial moment. It was a good feeling, just because I've been doing music since I was like 12 when it just came to like uploading videos to YouTube rapping doing like freestyle videos with, with my cousin Greg type shit just mm-hmm. like in front of our Zha Zha and Papa's house like and like I remember like to this day I remember like certain things like I don't hold grudges but you just remember certain shit like I yeah. remember names of like comments I was popping up being like this nigga is like you're weak this is trash shit like that yeah. but I kept going and like that's one thing I always tell people that hit me like that like do music and Maybe, like, ask some shit about, like, advice. I'm just like, keep going, man. Like, 
people are gonna say whatever. At the end of the day, one day they're gonna turn around and be downloading your shit, buying your shit, because that's what that's what's happening right now. With like what what like you're asking, like when I know the shit's coming, a lot of people that was hating like. They fucking with the shit now. But it's cool. Like, that's why you just gotta just keep going, man. Like, Facts. I named the project Can't Quit, Winners Can't Lose. Like, that's all, like, about the journey. Like, mm-hmm. dude, you can't quit. When, when you're a winner, you can't lose because you're a winner. Like, losing is a mentality. Ooh. You got the winner mentality, you can't lose. You just, like, you took a little you took a little failure. Learned a lesson. Shit like that. So, feels good, man. And then especially, like, when I be hearing, like, Somebody like one of my cousins will be like, "Hey, I was with such and such. I don't know who the fuck such and such is." And he was like, <laughs> "He was stopping your music," and like he didn't realize that I was my cousin's cousin type shit. Right. I be hearing stories like that, and it's but like, oh, that's cool. Like people just everywhere slapping the shit like, and it's really like that. Like they be like, "Oh, your cousin da da da." I'm like, "Oh man, small world, small city, small state." <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, it's dope to just know that the sound's spreading. Um. How many Kit Kats did you have to eat both times? Man, I didn't even eat. You didn't eat a any? A lot of them. I, I ate, like, probably, like, two packs. But, like, I don't really like chocolate like that. But I was eating a lot of those at work at the time. Yeah. I was eating a lot of Kit Kats, and that's why I wrote the song. Ooh. That's why I wrote Most of the Winners Can't Lose I at, at my job like at the time. So, look. <laughs> hey, look. I was right. That shit. I hit the wall. <laughs> that, that shit was dope. We had hella Kit Kats, though. We had, like, at least, like, probably, like, 50. Damn. Probably like 50. And then for the remix video, we had hella too. We had hella. Probably like 60, 70 for, for the remix <laughs> one. And I got hella king size joints too. But yeah, we threw a lot of those away. They were just warm and shit at the end. <laughs> warm and melty and shit. I was like, yeah, that's a wrap. Oh, that's a wrap. Um, I noticed that you took six months off of dropping music videos. Was it actually six months or did you just clean up uh, the, your personal YouTube? Uh, Damn, l- l- let me think. What what was the uh between um <laughs> you kind of off guard. No no you're good buddy uh <laughs> between, <laughs> between um dropping Kit Kat remix and the uh, uh before dropping Kit Kat and oh man oh uh so yeah I ended up I dropped the what I dropped before Kit I'm about to look it up I feel so unprofessional you know nah nah I feel crazy <laughs> I should know this discography I'm high right now hold on before Kit Kat. Video I dropped. I'm like, it's probably was ready to go, but on my on my page at least. Yeah. Uh, now the last video before that was probably nah, Kit Kat. Yeah, so it goes. Uh, yeah, it goes ready to go then Kit Kat. Okay, yeah. So I want to say I shot I shot videos in between. A couple yeah. of them didn't make. Uh, just like one of them I dropped exclusively on. Instagram, so it was like a IG TV exclusive. Ooh, that was the for I'm black, um, and I I wasn't even gonna drop that just because like I wasn't, I just wasn't gonna drop it. Um, but then the moment of like everything that was going on, I was like, man, I'm about to just give this song to the to the world like energy wise. Like this, I feel like this needs to be out right now. And hella, pe- I got hella good feedback on it. That's fire. So it was dope. Um, that was like an IG exclusive. I did yeah. it that way just because like, I want to do something different. I didn't want to like put it on YouTube, but I knew it on Instagram like it's just a different type of reaction. Yeah, and it's more like personal, like direct. Um, but not nah, the gap was really just f- I don't know what what the gap was for with the videos. Sometimes it's just like finances, man. Absolutely. Like I can't invest in like videos as much as I want to sometimes. Yeah, but I'm getting to a point now where I'm lining them up better and like with the rollout with my next project, like they're about to be coming like consistent. Oh, nice, shit. nice. Yeah, I just I was just fucking with them. I was just uh, you know when. Doing research, you know, uh, I was just noticing. I was like, "Oh, he, he was dropping, dropping, and then just took a took a little breather." I thought it was you're uh, uh, letting the project breathe or something, getting ready for Kit Kat. But I, I really enjoy. Nah, yeah, that's fire. Yeah, no, look, you got me thinking. <laughs> I'm like, man, did I really take no, a it's, like that? It's not like not musically because I was I, the music was still there yeah, as far yeah. as you dropping. I, I try to drop at least like every like month or two or like every two months or some shit. Yeah, but like. Right now, I'm in, like, I've just been working on getting my project mixed. My yeah. new one coming out sometime this year. Uh, it's just getting mixed right now. Ooh. I got to get the cover art done. Same dude's doing the cover art. We're about to do some dope shit again. So, just getting all that lined up. And I got to shoot the videos, get the merch done. So, now I'm doing more to prep for this album. So oh, nice. 
it's probably gonna be like probably like a little bit of time, but it'll be worth. It's it. good money. It's good. Not, now it. that I know, like I could, you know, <laughs> I, I just be a fan. So like, yeah, that's dope though. So I just be like, all right, what? Because like, real bitch Mondays, uh, is that fire. Last, that was the last song I dropped. Uh, um, I was gonna ask, do you prefer making uh more music for women than uh bars? Because I was looking at your discography, and it's it's both. But then Real Bitch Monday put me in like a, oh, this is, this I'm, is like. Uh, it's strictly for. It's strictly for it's strictly the women, for. you know. But like, but like, fellas, fellas can slap it too, Exactly. You know? Slap it with their yeah, fellas. Yeah. Uh, or put their, uh, <laughs> <laughs> stab it. With, uh, <laughs> hey, you slap it with your bros. Like, <laughs> you can slap it with your bros. Hey, you can slap it with your bros. <laughs> <laughs> That's all good. This like a stream was a stream, my nigga. Stream was a stream. I don't give a fuck who you slap with. But hey, but I know what you're saying. You can slap with your girl and shit. Whatever the fuck Valentine's Day coming you know? up, go stream that RBM, man. Yeah. But yeah, uh, you can slap that. And like, I made that song. To answer your question, I just think I'm hella versatile. So like, I just stay ready to make whatever type of song. Like, I take pride in like my writing ability, so I can write whatever type of song for anybody if they ever need the type shit. Um, I've I've ghost written like a couple times, like just to get like Ooh. just to get good at that, like yeah. not for anybody bigger than nothing, but yeah. just like I've ghost written for just like local type artists. Yeah. But it's dope because like that's just me working on like I'm writing some and I'm hearing how it's coming out of someone else's mouth. So, yeah. And it's dope because like it be it be sounding good. So that's just like that's fire. It's dope, bro. You're the first person that I know that uh, has written for uh, someone else. Uh, yeah, bro. It's just something where it's like people be like, how do you start doing that or something like that? And it's really just like. Offering it, and like that's something that uh, one time I hit up Laze yeah. about how do you go about ghostwriting, and she kind of gave me that game of just like you got to get be around people that like need it or see who needs it. Yeah, like, like a lot of people need the pen. Yeah, so she told me that like a while ago, and I just like held on to that, and then I started to just offer it to people that were hitting me for features or something like that. Yeah. I'd offer like you know I could write for you too. Exactly, I write a hook for da da da, write a verse. Just start making, you know, that's fire. Yeah, that's that's a way to become, um, because that's most, uh, most new artists start getting in for writing for a lot of people, yeah, as well as making their own music. So yeah. it's really dope that you already have started that on trying. Yeah, you know, that's a that's a way to one extend your artistry to hear hear your music get love from out of someone else's mouth and mm-hmm. them not even know. That's like, and I'm cool with just you like, know, I won't even. Like, I won't even say, like, who I write for. That's the point of being a ghostwriter. Like, you're supposed to be a ghost. Yeah. Like, I'm not going to say it's this, that, but it's just, like, it's dope hearing it. I don't need no credit. I just, like. You just know oh, your music I, is I watch you timeless. Do your thing. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Timeless, man. That's beautiful. As uh, Being a Seattle creative, I uh, always like to ask others um, just how, how we need the support of the community. Um what does Seattle need to do to level up to get to become a house household names? Um, do you think, or or is it different out here? We don't we don't necessarily need the mainstream um, to fuck with us. I mean, because I have this, I have this, I have these feelings as like, why haven't we been that big, like the mecca that we are in our own respect? of being a part of the game, why aren't we on that level to where artists are just flying, like, out of out of the city? And, or the state in general? I'm like, because the state in general, I feel like, just has a whole bunch of... There's so many gems is everywhere. Like, I don't I don't personally live in Seattle, but right. I'm just saying, like... I mean, I, I can name a whole bunch of artists, though, out of Seattle that I think are just hella filthy, like Mafi D, Pardon. uh, fucking Jarv D, Keen Ayata, mm-hmm. uh, fucking... I fuck with, and then I fuck with a lot of Tacoma artists too, like Sean Parker's dope. Ooh. Um, I fuck with uh, Sheed. He's filthy. And a lot of people should be making dope music everywhere. Like, there's a lot of people that have what it takes and has the whole package. It's just about it being in front of the right ears and the right eyes and Mm -hmm. the right connections. And there's so much, like, deeper than just the music that goes into it. But I feel like everybody has their time, and everybody's time is coming. It's just a matter about keep going and, Keep working because if you stop, then you'll never see it. Mm. If you keep going though, then you know it could be there. Absolutely. Ooh, that was a motherfucking gem. <laughs> uh, just let that breathe for a second. You having trouble, sir? No. All right. I was just, I, I was just, uh, asking, I was just checking in with you, bro. I was just <laughs> checking in with you. You're, you're good. I don't. I'm not trying to get beat up today. <laughs> uh, uh, 
<laughs> <That's>... <laughs> um, <laughs> he's going crazy. That's that tranquilo. <laughs> That's hella funny. You didn't even crack your water yet. <laughs> Get off me. <laughs> um, tell me about the creating of the remix of uh, Kate Hat when you recruited uh, Paris Alexa and added Chase Fade to shoot it. Was it, did it bring different energy uh, back into it for you? It was definitely different because uh, I just didn't know it was coming. Like, it was it was one of those dope moments where, like, it just came hella organic. Like, because I dropped Kit Kat and I was doing the Kit Kat challenge thing. So yeah. it was like, uh, like, girls, like, drop, like, a little, like, 20, 15 second snippet, whatever. You, like, dance into the song Kit Kat. Yeah. And, like, a few, like, did it and shit like that. But I hit Paris, and I was like, hey, if you're trying to participate in the challenge, here's a song, shit like that, and you can hashtag or whatever. And she heard the song. She was like, I'm trying to hop on the remix. And I was <laughs> like, oh, I swear. And I was like, cool. Send her the track, and then she sent it back with the vocals. And she came hard on She snapped on it, <laughs> took it to another level. So then we ended up um, – then Chase wanted to shoot the video. He was already down with it. Like, he – that was, like, an idea he had of just wanting to shoot the remix. So yeah. I was like, let's, let's work. <laughs> Made that happen. <laughs> And came up with the dope, the dope video for the remix, and just the dope song in general. Like, she she came on there and added like the extra spice, and it was just dope because I needed that that nice like lady presence on there. I think you both floated on it, and to yeah, hear yeah. it come, uh, like I I like I the remix it, to have the original fire and then have the remix just like add another bounce. It gave me like an early two thousands feel when you would get. A remix and it would it would Fire. make it you know it would Fire make you remix. go oh was, shit that was my goal man <laughs> the point of remixes that was yes. my goal it's not uh, and a lot of people don't do remixes no, no. more no and that's like my favorite era of music was the early two oh thousand yes so like, that was definitely like inspired like let me ooh it's about to be dope <laughs> when you hear Ace Hood on everything <laughs> come on come on hey Ace man different time yes bro uh what would you say is your favorite era of uh, music early two thousands for sure just like. Style was important. It mm -hmm. was, like, about, like, everybody being different. Yeah. It wasn't, like, a lot of people sounding the same. And, like, not saying, like, that's a problem now or nothing. I'm just saying, like, that's what was so dope about yeah. it. Like, because that was when everybody had their own swag. Tall tees. Come on. Like, the South was doing their thing, like, heavily. Like, beats, beat selection. Everybody's beats were different. And it was just a whole just different energy, like. Even like collaborative, like like we were just talking about hella remixes, like exactly it was hella remixes because everybody was just working with each other so much. Like a lot of remixes, like they're not the same no more. Mm. They don't really feel like remixes. They just feel like uh, I added you uh, on, or I had the verse, and I just wanted to put my version out, and then I'm adding you already. Uh, yeah, yeah. The energy feels lost. That's, yeah, that's why I really like that you guys really brought back that energy, especially with the music. Paris videos. definitely took it to another level for sure. Like that was that was hella dope. And then, like, like you said, even with the video, thank you. Even with the video, it was just like everything got taken up a notch. So. It was new energy. Like, yeah. I, that's what I really liked. Um, yeah. It was, yeah, it's, it's one of those amazing things to see of just, um, just the the life, the especially it happened so organically, just the exactly. the life of the city just being like, oh, oh, I like that. Let me hop on that. Oh, yeah. I, I already wanted to shoot it. Like, I'm kind of mad I didn't shoot it. You're doing a remix? Definitely no, let yeah. me, you know? Yeah. The parallels was crazy. The first one from the first one. <laughs> Tavares to put the, me on, actually. To the, to the second <laughs> one. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> <laughs> we're looking out that window right now. Oh, uh, you talking about the... Kit Kat. The <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Fuck her off like a Kit <laughs> Have and, then, and then the second one, we're, nah, because the, the video store. was looking out the window. <laughs> Crazy, I bro! In the store, we're going, we're going yiki, <laughs> we're going yiki, and we're all dancing, bro. This shit was crazy. Hey. I really like seeing that, bro. I really like praising the people who come and set the tone. I and, appreciate that, and um, create create <laughs> waves, man. We're creating waves out here. Tap the fuck in. Yes, God sir. damn it. Yes, sir. Come on, let's go with that right now. I'm really clap heavy today. You know, Tell me about growing up right. in Bellevue, man. Fucking. You, you was telling me that you was, you was out there yeah. for, for a while. and just Yeah. Fucking. It was different. It. 
it was different because going from Renton to Bellevue, it was like a like Renton. It was more diverse. It was more black folks. It was more like Mexican folks, Asians, white folks too. But then going to Bellevue, like there was not many. Like I was saying, like four percent was like the highest I ever seen uh, for like how many black folks was in the school in the Damn. district. So it was just like always hella low, not a lot of niggas. But the niggas that was there, we was we was tight. Exactly. We had to stick together type shit. But it was cool just learning, just like I don't know how to put it in a way where it don't sound crazy, but just like <laughs> learning how white people are. No, like you get that's to learn, crazy. you get to see it up front, like because I, I wasn't living like how a lot of them was living. Like we was still like just you know we was in the apartment and shit, exactly doing getting by type shit. But a lot of people was living nice out there, and I was just I'd go over to people's houses and I'm like, oh, this is crazy. Like <laughs> yeah. this is in your house. That was my like open up to like seeing like hella money type shit. Yeah, living in Bellevue, it was different. I was like, "That's different." Damn, going from Renton to Be- Bellevue is crazy. That's kind of how I felt uh, at Nova. So I was, um, I, I I've grown up in the South End, uh, mm. pretty much with these guys. Mm. But I I went to school in Nova, so Nova was kind of that experience of just seeing how like white children move and just like what they're upset about in the world. Like I watched uh, one time, I watched a girl complain. Over Christmas break, we had came back, and she was like, I got an iPhone. I really wanted a snake. And I just walked past her. I was like, what? Like, you got a phone. You got a phone. <laughs> like, and the, iPhone I, the iPhone. Like, when the Especially iPhone 4, then. it was the iPhone 4 when it was, like, yeah, yeah. popping. Yeah. I was like, did I just hear this bitch say she wanted a snake? No, yeah. It was just, like, it was a crazy parallel to be, like, what, what we were worried about and what we were talking about exactly. to be, like, Oh, this is there's no nuance. You guys, you you just want things, and if you don't get them, it's like fuck. Yeah, it's exactly. Just like, you know, it's no exactly. sense of oh shit, I got it. It's no. I felt like this was earned. My parent, I saw my parent work hard for this. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, it's kind of it's a really crazy dynamic to be in. It is, especially like like I said, like just because there were so few of us, like I, nine times out of ten, it'd be like I might be the only like black person in the class. So like th- certain shit, it would just be hella weird, like. Topics in the history and shit, like, and, yeah. I, and I, I'm i one of them niggas that know they ain't teaching us, like, all the history and the right history shit, so I'll be in the class just like, ah. Uh, uh, here they shit. go. Here they go. Or, like, try to, like, don't feel bad for me here. We're learning about MLK and shit. Like, don't look at me. Like, I got all the answers, nigga. Like, I'm learning too, nigga, damn. So shit like that. Yeah, February come like, around, they're just like. They don't really acknowledge Black History Month like that. Like, it's crazy. In the, in the But we started. I, I was the president of Black Student Union at my school, so like I, I was a part of like a lot of like getting that shit more mm-hmm. noticed and the representation. Yeah, and, you know, like mm-hmm. making sure we got a part in like in assemblies and shit. So mm-hmm. like we're in front of the whole school doing our shit. So that was like a big focus of mine, and like a lot of people was a part of that Black Student Union and shit. That's amazing. Nah, yeah, it was dope. That's how you fucking do it, honestly. Cause you, they, you you do what you can at a place like that. Like gather us all up, make y'all feel like you got a you got a family here too. Like we all we all here. Like you just gotta get us all in the same room. Were there uh, teachers that were helping back this, or was this was this all mostly your organization and there was, the few students that were there? The teachers would have to like let us use their their class. So like <laughs> um, certain one, but like certain teachers were cool. Like yeah. not all. Like I was hella cool with my teachers. Um, not all of them was like. Fucked up. Yeah. There was some like staff that like I didn't have a teacher, but there was some staff that was just like looking back, especially like being older. I'm like, yeah, they was fucked up. Yeah, like, but yeah, that was different. That was different. <laughs> it was cool. Can you have your lighter, sir? Damn. Did you lose it? Thank, thank you. I'm sorry. Oh, that's sweet. That sweet weed silence is amazing. Yeah, I'm key. <laughs> That's a beautiful thing, man. Shout out to Tranquil. Gas. <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh shit! Fuck. <laughs> there we go. He, like, <laughs> he didn't beat me down a question. <laughs> he, he didn't even. Yeah. He didn't even have to do that. <laughs> <laughs> he threw it out there. It's like, oh my god. <laughs> Question hit me right here. Nah. <laughs> Ooh, that is, you know, that essential is getting cracked. I see it. <laughs> Look, finally had to tap it. Got to hydrate. Um, you have any goals for 2021, man? Big goals. It's beginning of the year, man. I'm trying to, I'm trying to chart again on <laughs> iTunes, but this time, like, top five. Mm-hmm. So, like, mm. that's a goal of mine. 
Uh, I'm trying to like get my name out there more, drop more content, record more, put out more songs, and just really just keep doing what I'm doing just at a higher level. It's the big goal of mine. Uh, I'm curious. Uh, so you're one of the few people that I know that have a manager. Mm. What was it like um, obtaining one, and what is that what that kind of relationship like as an artist? Uh, it's dope because my manager Logan, he's like a jack of all trades. Like he does photography at like Fire. a high level. Like he takes hella dope pictures. Um, he manages my website, Ooh. Um, shit like that. Um, <clears throat> and like he uploads. I don't have a like a computer at all, so like he uploads all my music and shit like that. And he's just hella cool, like individual. So like. Even, like, last night, literally, I was having car troubles. Dude was hella good, like, mechanic type shit. So he, <laughs> he pulled up and helped me helped me get my car running again type shit. So he's just a hella, always there for me, like, in real life and with the music shit. Yeah. So it's just hella dope, like, um, and the way we became connected, like, it was just, like, it was meant to be type shit. Like, he was listening to my music already Ooh. before I knew who he was. So, like, that was, like, a good, it's always good when it's like that because that means, like, you're, like, a genuine, like, fan of the music. Yeah. And, like you're going to want to support that because you already was fucking with it before you really knew me. Exactly. So that was like off top, just a good thing, but it's definitely dope. Just having, um, someone to just bounce ideas off or sometimes like just take care of things for you. Like that, like you might not be able to do. So like, you know, it's just always good to have. That's amazing. Yeah. Water's fucking me up. <coughs> Man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my God. What the fuck? <laughs> I see that too. Oh, I was about to start talking. That's li- instant karma. I was about to start gassing you. That's, that's oh shit! Gas me. Um. Uh, if if it's okay, uh, what's it like being a, a father, um, especially a girl dad? Because I know that's really important, um, and you brag about it, especially on Twitter and on Instagram. So, man, yeah. So I I love it, man. Like it's really like the best thing, man. Like words can't even describe like fatherhood, bro. Like mm. it's crazy. As soon as I had my first daughter, uh, my, my uh, that was like when I just started looking at things different, life different, and it's crazy because having a girl just like automatically your heart gets soft like a motherfucker. Mm. So you're just like you're you're so careful and like caring, like and like it's like delicate. Like mm. it's just like I don't know how to describe it, bro. But the feeling that gives you <clears throat> just having like. A kid and like knowing that like that's you, yeah, and just like watching the every day the growth, like how they learn, yeah, how they develop and shit. It's just hella dope. And now I got I got two now. I got a two year old and a one year old, so they're like a year and a half apart. And it's Amazing. just watching them, watching how my youngest is growing up is hella quicker, just because she's watching her older sister. Yeah, now. and it's just like, oh yeah, they're they're really like two peas in the pod right now. <laughs> That's they, amazing. They both be getting in some trouble. I be I be looking at them. They both just look back at the same time. I'm like, it's gonna be bad, but yeah, it's, it's hella dope, man. That's I wouldn't amazing. Change for nothing. That's amazing. Yeah. Did having a family change how uh, your outlook on music and and what you want to put out? I mean, at the end of the day, like, I'm like we're talking about the creative control. Like, I'm always do mm-hmm. what I feel like is good music because I just know what I want to listen to. Mm. So, like, having a family didn't make me like change to like dad raps or nothing or like, <laughs> you know, like or doing something that like I wasn't doing. Like, I'm still right. making my music. It's just now like, I'm getting to a point where I can't play it as much around them because, like, my oldest daughter, like, I'm, when I get the studio set up, she's definitely about to be in the booth because she, she be memorizing the songs. From like other artists, my, like my songs, like yeah. knowing hooks, knowing knowing melodies. <laughs> That's amazing. So like, but it's also like you know I be cussing, so like now nah, yeah. I can't I can't be playing it around her. <laughs> but that's like really all it is. It's not playing it around them. But I'm gonna always just make the music that I want to make. Um, of course, at a certain point, like I'll probably just when I'm like you know older, I'll rap like my age, like thirty something. I'll probably like. Tone it down with like the, what the cuss words and the yeah. vulgarness and shit. But right now, I'm like, man, I'm 24. Like, you know, hey, man, you gotta get it off. Hey, I'm getting it off. Right <laughs> yeah. now, man. I don't want to look back and be like, man, I wish I would have said, wish I would. <laughs> like, nah, dude, you can't say it no more. Like, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, 35. Come get on, those off. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'll be changing. Like, I'll be having a different music. <laughs> yeah. Um, is your uh, ultimate goal to? stay in music or do you want to transition into um, other avenues as you grow? I definitely, like I would talk about like a big fan of Joe Budden podcast yeah. and like that kind of inspired me to like 
want to start a podcast. Ooh. Um, that's one thing I want to do. Really, just I want to I want to continue doing music no matter what. Yeah. It would just be different like avenues I'm going down, but still like the main focus be the music. Absolutely. Um, but at some point I want to launch a podcast. Um, I want to keep on doing like my my merch line. Yeah. Start like a real line. Uh, have someone like design and stuff like that. <clears throat> like, that's really, fire. Really get shit going. Cause when I did the merch, it was dope to seeing how that works and like. How the turnaround comes, yeah. like the investing into it and like the get back. I'm like, okay, yeah, I, I could do this. Like if I really put my all into this shit and just like seeing other people do it, uh, I just be taking notes and like soaking up game. That's amazing. Yeah. But I'm always down to just like venturing. I be learning shit just on the daily. So like I'm trying to learn in like about the investing into the crypto and shit. Yeah, me what, too. I've seen a hell of people talk about it and sometimes it's like, you can see some shit and be like, man, they don't know what they're saying. But exactly. like, also, it's like if all these people's talking about it, let me go see what the fuck they talking about. Exactly, the, the it must be working. The stock market has always been there; it just has never been there for people like us. Yeah, exactly. and that's the fucked up part about it, and why it like took a everything, timeline. everything going on re- most recently yeah. is going off off the charts. They seen a large, my like big minority group in the stock market class, like. Fuck it up. They was fucking it up. They were. Buy these trades, hold them. <laughs> millions. Billions. Sh- millions. Billions. Sh- millions. Hold on, bro. This was on Reddit, bro. <laughs> hold on, bro. Oh, we're all going to do it, bro. <laughs> oh, bro. Buy your shit and hold it, bro. Hold it on Twitter. They were going. Bro, they was going yay, yay. Shout out, though. I made like $2. I'm not even. Gonna, that's good, though. That's $2 hey, I did not have. Fuck it. Government, I didn't. I did pay my taxes on those two bucks. You got your ten percent. Oh shoot! I made a dollar and eighty cents. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case you're listening out there, look, I made a dollar and eighty cents. <laughs> Gotta clarify. You know, after you guys got your cut, because they'll fucking. I don't want to ever make too much money, and they'd be like, "Hey, bro." I need mine off the top. And like, we've been telling you we need ours off the top. Jeez. They're really mobsters. That's crazy. The IRS yeah. is different. I never wanna I never wanna have They're a fight. Fi- They're not. <laughs> and all. we'll freeze all your assets. <laughs> <Hell no. laughs> what? You thought you had some? This all is all my assets? <laughs> all of it. What? Wait, wait, my things that don't physically Yeah, exist, yeah, that's mine now. Off hey. top. Oh my lord. <laughs> They got fucking Blade, bro. If they can get Blade, this they can is get Rebel anybody. Radio right here, bro. <laughs> bro, they can get Wesley Snipes. They can get anybody. Because he can really, he can real life fight. He got a real life black belt. <laughs> so, like. That's hell of a fight. <laughs> they're, they're getting. That's real. You know? That's real. Dollar 80 cents. Remember that. Fuck. I can't. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck 80. Okay, so. <laughs> <laughs> you go crazy. You make me so excited. Uh, you... <laughs> what, uh, uh, tell me about the most craziest experience you had at a party. You've been to. It sounds like you've been to all these places so far in your uh, uh, tw- uh, twelve year uh, <laughs> career. That's um, a hot one. That's a hot uh, one. I'm about to plead the fifth. Oh, <laughs> oh! I'm about to plead the fifth. Share yours. Me, Share yours. Yeah, man. Me, oh, okay, Share yours. Uh, man. Yo, over here trying to get me in trouble. Okay, so <laughs> I was I was out in like Enumclaw with the homies, and um, we pulled up. It was like this like fat house in the little woods woods part. We're like, what the fuck? We pull up, we park, um, we walk movie. in, and then um, as soon as we walk in, it's hella lit. We pull up. There's a couch, fat couch, bro. There's this two dudes. They're they're like drunk as fuck, oh, and yeah. like. Oh, yeah. And then there's like um, everyone kicking it. Their homies are right next to them smoking weed, bro. The other bro starts puking on the other <laughs> bro. <laughs> it was crazy, crazy. I was like, Whoa. You said you walked, walked in. into that. <laughs> I walked into that. I was like, okay, I'm about to stay because it's lit. <laughs> I'm about to stay. Whoa, I'm about to hit the cut, though. There. That's some Seattle shit. I'm about, to, I'm about to swim move over. Over this uh, situation right here, there's there's bro puking up, bro. Oh my god! And then I pull up. There's uh, there's like this little um, island. It's made out of like granite. Uh, I'm like, what the fuck? A granite island in the kitchen, hella bottles and all the shit. Yeah, crazy. 
Oh, is that the, is that the end? <laughs> I thought she was finished. I, I, I could keep airing it out, but... <laughs> When you led to the counter, said, I thought there was more. You said crazy. You said there was hella bottles. Crazy. Was, oh shit. This is just crazy. That's there's awesome. also there's also a crazy party we went to where um damn I can't even say it because that's just crazy. The mansion party. Yeah, the mansion party. Yeah, the mansion party. So I, I don't be partying much. I, like the story. Yeah, I don't be partying much, but the stories I do have like. <laughs> I, I can't be on the they'll pod. Die, they'll die with you. I can't be on the pod, man. They'll die. What, what happened at the mansion party? Uh, so the mansion party we went was, where was this? It, this is the. It was like Queen Anne. This is Queen. This is further. This is, okay. First of all, this is the biggest house I've ever seen yeah. in my life. Yeah. There's, we're, it's like four stories, bro. Damn. We didn't even, like, it's dark as shit. Uh, I didn't see the four stories. We are in the pool house. Mm-hmm. Mind you, we pull up to the, the house we're in is the size of the pool house. Okay. That's, that's just the front yeah, area. Yeah. There's all oh, these gates okay, around okay. it. Yeah, yeah. Niggas is hopping in, like, in and out of the, uh, <laughs> windows and shit. So we pull up, uh. <laughs> We pull up and we get we get to this party. In and out the windows of the mansion. Yeah, they're just doing. It, it, we're all sick. It's like Project it's, S type it's shit. Project S type shit. Oh, but okay. we get there late. This yeah. is like two three hours into the party. Yeah, kids is drunk, throwing bottles and shit. So we get th- into the pool. Into oh, the pool. No, no one's you in was the- there too. Yes. <laughs> uh, so we pull up to this uh, big stupid goofy house. Mm. Um, and when we get there, they tell us, hey, the cops have been called. How long have you guys been partying? Three hours. What time did the cops get called? Like two hours, like an hour in. So the cops, th- mind you, th- this is obviously one of the richest neighborhoods or whatever. Yeah, so when the cops get called, that means nothing to them. So niggas is chilling, vibing. Yeah. Um, one of my bro, this is hours into it, but one of my bros is on a table with someone else's bottle getting lit. He's with two other people's females (laughs) on the table (laughs) drinking somebody else's bottle and going, yay, going, going going crazy. I think I caught, I caught him dabbing in the sauna. (laughs) So, (laughs) so. Literally, like, like take a dab yeah. in the like, sauna. Taking dabs you were taking dabs in the sauna? So, these random... Bro, that's hell. Dudes, I, I, feel like, like, <laughs> I was like... What? I was just trying I don't to think it was on. I don't think it was on. No, oh, no was it, was, it was on. It was hot as fucking... You man. chose to do that? So, I'm I'm not a real, like... I don't be trying to kick it with people. Like, if I'm... I drink, and I, but I'm really trying to find where the stoners are. All my friends is kicking it, whatever. I'm trying to find where the smokers are. You were taking are. dabs in the sauna? That's where there were free dabs at. In there the was a sauna? free... Bro. You're like dying. No, I'm... There's hell. You it's, be just drenched. It's hot as hell. I'm Plus six, the dab. I'm 16, not giving a fuck. We smoking. <laughs> they, were, they were like, hey, bro, you trying to take dabs? I was like... <laughs> Nigga, there they what, are. What we doing? There they are. Fuck. Where are they? What this, are we this doing? This is definitely pre-COVID. I'm assuming. Oh, oh, oh. yes. Oh, yes. Yes. This is years oh, ago. This is years ago. Like eight years ago. Yeah. Type shit. Okay, yeah. 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 Uh, that, happened, that happened in nowadays. would never happen. Fuck no. I wouldn't be there. Day. I would not be there. <laughs> it, it's I'm happening. I'm closing the door. Oh, no. It's closed Fuck session. That. Um, That's humidity. We're in there for hella long. My Tavares comes find me. He's like, "Bro, what are you doing in here? I'm I'm smoking. What are you doing?" <laughs> He's like, "Bro, apparently the police are on the way, so I'm I'm finna get loose." Yeah. <laughs> so we've been there for a good two two three hours. He Tavares comes to me drunk, yeah. high, and paranoid. He's like, "Bro, I gotta that get out of here." That combination. That Hell no. I gotta get out of <laughs> here. Said, police. Hell no. <laughs> what? But he got told this sober when we got there. <laughs> so apparently some, I don't know what the fuck he was doing yeah. in the party, but someone had alerted him. It's time to go. He's like, bro, we got to go. I'm like, no, I'm not leaving hey. if there's no real police there. He's like, bro, you got, fuck, fuck. He comes to get all the bros. No one's trying to leave with him. He's like, fuck you guys. I'm out of here. Ahead of the curve, <laughs> man. You had to get gone. Hey. We're in there Did for. Did they really a, come? They, yes, but we're in there for another hour and a half. <laughs> you could have stayed a little longer, sobered up a little he bit. You could have came back inside after thirty minutes. <laughs> I was, I was in the cut hiding. I was like, bro. I was like, brody, <laughs> brody, where you guys at, bro? My phone died, bro. Yeah. And then I see them, see them hit the cut, bro. Mind you, the 
the police did come, and I and I got loose, and I was like, oh, there's that police. Bro, he calls <laughs> me. He call, The fire department pulls up first. Oh, shit. Why'd they pull up? I don't... Because they they did, they did just heard a mur- I don't know what the fuck they heard. <laughs> they just pulled up. The fire department pull up and leave. They they see there's no... They get there. They just see what's, they going, just on. See what's going on and they're out. They yeah, yeah. bounce. And then you just hear hella fucking sirens. Hella police came? Hella, po- hella police Damn. came. Like 17... Like, hella... Like... 17, you se- said? 17. 17 cop cars? Yes. Yeah, because there's like... There was like 70 kids there. There was mad. There that's was like, deep. Seventeen cop cars. Yeah. That's thirty four police. Yes, if they're like, all like paired no, up, bro. Yes, all and, flashlights through. And, they, and people pulling off, they're yanking. Whoop, whoop. It's really crazy. They're so they they set up a traffic stop and just like Damn. hella crazy shit. This is in Queen Anne. This is in Queen Anne. <laughs> uh, in this nigga, uh, the I think it's the nigga's Zumi son. Whoever that nigga is. Yeah. Shout out to that nigga. You threw crazy parties. You mean like, what do you mean Zoomies? The Zoomies owner. Oh, okay, okay. His, yeah, his son. Okay, okay. We were just Damn. in this nigga's house. Damn. It was crazy. He was... He, was there he, a skate park? Was there a skate park there? I don't even... It was dark. Oh. I, I didn't drive and it was dark. Look, probably. That's crazy. It was... Cr- it was... Hey. We that's, were just in the pool house. Story. We were just in the pool house. That definitely takes the cake. This nigga's car got stolen. 17 cop cars. Yeah. 17. Whose car got stolen? Yours? No, the oh. owner. The nigga. Zoomies yeah. nigga? Yes. Two of them. Damn. <laughs> Two of them. Two whips got stolen? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> My son is in trouble with that. <laughs> That's crazy. Both of them. That's crazy. It was crazy. Two of your whips get stolen? Two of them. It was uh, You're the owner Lambo of and like a fucking... He's getting, uh, he's getting the he, Mercedes. He definitely got. The, do you know the follow up? If you got him back, uh, they were recovered. I'm like, yeah, man, they were found. They were found. They just some shits or no one was caught. Uh, okay, uh, damn. Shout out to yeah, that's crazy. What the fuck? Yeah, bro. That's a crazy story. Yeah, you should definitely. You know, you definitely make a little short film out of that. Come on, shout out to nigga throwing that. And then he threw up. <laughs> <laughs> That's dope. Seventeen cop cars. Seventeen. Include that in the short film. They were sure. just get out. <laughs> it was. It was on it. Get out of the house. That's crazy. Get out of the house. They weren't even. They were doing. Get out. They weren't arresting kids. Bro. They were do, get out of the house. Other people. Damn. Everybody was breaking, going through the windows. They was like, ah. Damn. Ah. Fleeing. <laughs> but then when they when they left, there was just a. Little, of course. Little, Little blockade, like oh, they're just all chilling. They're like, oh hey, <laughs> damn, drunk. I remember drunk flipping off the police. I was really, I thought I was, I was thugging it. <laughs> Got out of the house. Fuck you, <laughs> bro. Go home, bro. They, the cop looked at me. and was like, bro, get, get, get your man. Get the, get what? your man, bro. bro. <laughs> who's who's the last I, I kid come, is this, bro? I Fuck. come out the bushes. I come out the bushes. Corey, Corey, Corey chill bro. Out. Come bro, on, bro. Chill bro. Come on, bro. Fuck the big, bro. Bro, bro, you know where we are, bro. Come on, we're back to the whip, bro. Come on. Mind you. I knew it. I told you, motherfucker. He watched this. He watched all of this. Yeah. That's crazy. You you had the front seat. Yeah. You seen it all. That's That's hella funny. Yeah, the mansion party was probably the craziest party that I've That's dope, though. Yeah. We've been the craziest, but the mansion party takes the cake because I've never been in just the, just in the pool house. I didn't Mm -hmm. go inside anything, other part of the house, and Mm -hmm. it was big as fuck. There was... That's Hell, dope. the kids in there. I've always been like a homebody. So, I, like, man, even in high school, I was like that. Like, people would be like, you trying to come this, there? I'd be like, man, I'm trying to smoke, <laughs> like, chill somewhere. Or, like, I'm just going to be at the crib. Watch TV. Come man. on. Let me, let me put you on with a show. Man, come on. it's like. <laughs> <laughs> or good now, weed. To this day, I'm like, now nah, I'm out of with, like, I'm with the fam. Or I'm in the studio or shit like that. But it's like, now it's like, I don't know the point of being out like that. Facts, especially now with the with the germs and shit. I'm like, fuck that. No, I went to the dispensary the other day. Bro was like, "Hey, bro, you hitting any bars?" I was like, "What? Fuck no. What? <laughs> no, I'm going home. Fuck niggas, no. Niggas is coming in here and telling you they're getting they're going to bars. I will see you in two weeks. No, like, yeah, I'm, I'm off this <laughs> dispensary. On. Fourteen days. <laughs> yeah, I see. You. I'll be back in two weeks. Yeah. Where either you either shut down or there's no cases. Like it's crazy right now. Nah, I'm not trying to kick it that, that badly. Seeing the place that's open too, like like. Like certain states is just wide open right now. Kicking it. Seeing fans in places, I'm like, oh, a lot, a lot of them niggas be taking off their masks in the middle of the games right. and shit. Sometimes they be on the on the screen yeah. with the mask off. It's I'm like, fucked up out here, man. It's crazy. Uh, we, we was like New Zealand. 
They're thugging it. They're 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 good. They're real mm. life kicking it. Mm. They, they had adequate leadership. Went, nah, they're just a small. Up. Nah, they're just like a island that was like nah, no to everybody. Fuck fuck everybody. We were we were just like nah. We we were, we're going moving. places. <laughs> like it's like hard to like not go inside the same state. Like they were like, stay your asses home inside New Zealand. Canada was like Canada. Uh, the Raptors are playing like they're playing somewhere. They're not playing in Toronto. And then mm. the baseball team last year couldn't play in and Tor- because they couldn't oh, yeah. have teams coming in. So they was having strict on that shit too. It's over. Yeah, like, yeah. I'm like some places is not. I mean, Seahawks had no no nothing. Come o- on, only team. Yeah, that just shows you how good Washington was doing. No, yeah. Russ, Russ was in yeah, the hey, facility. They, 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 <laughs> bro. Russ was in there. Hey, you stay your ass ass home. <laughs> stay your ass home. Hey. Bro, you, I will not throw nothing, bro. I'll get tackled. <laughs> Fuck you talking about. I don't care. Stay home. Stay home, bro. Don't. Bro. Spike. Yeah, <laughs> fuck you mean. You better put in Gino. Fuck you oh, mean. Fuck, no. Put in Gino. Gino. <laughs> no. Vintage Gino. I'm trying to get Ryan Fitzpatrick as a backup or some shit. Ooh. Just in case Russ ever has... I, Knock on wood, but he's never been injured in his career. But he if he ever were to go down, I would love to have like a Fitzpatrick. Just know he can manage a game. He could, we got DK, so he can get the ball to him. Tyler Lockett, you're good. You know, it's gonna be cool to see what we do in the offseason. Trade for Tua. Nah, you, nah, you tripping, man. <laughs> trade, trade who for Tua? Russell. No, we got we, we got. <laughs> <laughs> Look how quiet the room got. <laughs> Said Russell. <laughs> Is that who we giving up, bro? <laughs> I'm gonna leave this episode. Nah. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I fuck with to it though. Yeah. I don't think Dolphins should trade him. People are trying nah. to make it seem like he's he, in a he's in a good place, bro. Man, he was a rookie last year and he yeah. still did good. He was like they six have a and good three defense. or six and two or some shit. Yeah. Damn. Brian Flores is a good coach. All that they got a good little thing going on. Yeah. Um, well, I'm I'm here. I'm with you. You know, I, I mean, football. You, you know, I don't be watching. You got, you bring up basketball, we can talk all day. Like, oh yeah, yeah. You yeah. know, I'm. Come I'm on. here for yeah, it. Yeah, you're the the Lakers are going crazy. Come on, back we're going back to back, back to back. Come on, back to back with I know. it. Yeah, it's I'm easy. In the room. It's in the it's in the bag. Niggas is playing yeah. soft. <laughs> James Harden thought he was going to go to the Nets and like we're going to win. Like <laughs> no nigga, they had to get rid of hey, every nigga not that played. To have KD play. No, I wouldn't play. <laughs> you've, been in, you've been in close contact, <laughs> bro. That's the second time this year with bro, that nigga. No, bro. Oh fuck no. If I'm KD, I'm saying this. We're not going nowhere. We're gonna sit this one out. I yeah. bet you they don't make the Eastern Conference Finals. No, they don't. I bet they, you they don't. don't the They're getting. Conference. You're looking at me like I'm crazy. they are not. I bet you they don't make the Eastern Conference Three Finals. Three niggas can score and nobody can play defense. No one There's can not play defense. That was my issue. I was best like, of seven series. That I'm team, cooking them. I'm not taking them. I'm cooking they, uh, them. They traded their best defender. Yes. Yeah. Jared Allen. Jared Allen. He was nasty. Yeah. Mitts. Bro. Mitts. Yeah, Karis LeVert was nice off the bench. They too. had a, they were, they were a threat yeah. before the James Harden trade. I yeah, was like, already. ooh. Yeah. I was like, okay, KD they got Kyrie. depth. You know? They got depth. They can score. Yeah, from the, from like their bench can score and yeah. they can score. I they was like, that Joe Harris. That, yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> they were you a real from Lake Chelan. Ooh, I did not know Joe that. Harris. Yeah, he went to Lake wow. Chelan High School or some shit. Come on, shout out to you. That's, That's crazy. crazy huh? We we got some of the greatest hoopers in uh, the league right Man, now. Man, definitely. <laughs> definitely, I've always thought that all time. So yeah, we're going back to back. Your your man Kevin Durant is finna watch it from the pine this year. He's he's back. He's and I back fuck home. with KD. I met him when he first got drafted to the Sonics because he had like a welcome to Seattle thing at uh, Green Lake. Ooh, and I was there. That was back in like '07, and like I, I got like the KD shirt. He signed the back. He was that was like That's he was hella dope. he was fresh out of That's Texas, like, tall ass skinny nigga. <laughs> yeah, he still I mean still tall ass yeah. skinny nigga, but like he was just like tall, young and shit. Yeah, hella cool though. Like it was him. Sean Alexander was there. Like Spencer Spencer Haywood. Oh Matt shit, Hasselback was there. It was dope. Damn, JJ puts and shit. That's fire. That's crazy. That's it was fucking filthy. Fire. That's filthy. I miss, filthy. See, I miss Real those Mariner, things Real about. Mariner come on, hey, I be seeing you with the Mariners, man. I'm glad there's some diehard fans out there. Thank I, I you. believe every year. Thank you. Oh, boo. Thank you. Last year we started and, uh, so hot. Yankees. Uh, 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 Yankees. <laughs> the Yankees. Come on, man. Come on. Yan- Yankees. Yankees. Man. Man, I fuck with the Yankees. Come on. A-Rod's my favorite player, man. Come on. Great yeah, baseball. Favorite, never, never, uh, Come never on. doubted that, but man, fuck y'all. Mariners nah. be starting off so nice. You guys. And then we f- just fizzle out. Hold on. And you, then we're going to trade our whole, our, our whole infield. We trade Segura. 
My we one, trade. the one thing about oh. Seattle fandom, if I could say something, you guys don't hold your general managers accountable. You guys blame <laughs> everybody else but the G, the GMs. We, we have the best farm system this no, year. No, you guys this, can. This year you we guys have the best can. Farm system. But you guys can draft every year. You guys be ooh getting the gems. And then, then, patience, patience. then a nigga will get one nigga who will ruin an entire team. We just had the rookie of the year for the AL. I'm we got sa- Kyle Lewis. He's the future. I'm saying. Kyle Lewis is the future. The Yankees will never let you guys do the Yankees, anything. Hey, I'm Yankees. telling you. They're not going to be a problem for us in this upcoming season. They will. Was it March? Like the end of March? I don't even watch first? baseball, but it, hey, I'm, it's I'm always. I'm a diehard Mariner fan, man. It's always. I'll be the, following the Twitter page. Did the Mariners win? I was just to stay tuned. Oh, he, he, <laughs> I no, get the notification. He's hella funny. He's Whoever, hella funny. Whoever that is. Wh- whoever bro. runs it. Yeah. Because they, um, be, they, be, they be hella like, it'd it be like middle of the look, game and they'd be hella down. They'd be like, no. <laughs> <laughs> did the Mariners win? <laughs> Tweeted? No. no. Uh, did the Mariners win? Yeah. <laughs> but we gave up like six runs in like. They be the, talking that shit. In the, in the third. It's good. Talking that Man, shit. Seattle oh, like, on, deserves man. so many banners. Because of the fandom. We but still hold the record for the most wins in the regular season. The general, you guys need to fight your general managers. I'm just saying, as a outside. Are you from New York? I was born there. I'm I'm split. I okay. have like, uh, I have a New York personality, but like Seattle heart. That's what's up. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like I, 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 went I to love New York you. one time, and, but that was dope. I want, definitely want to go back. Oh, you got to. You that got was, to. There's so trip. many places. That was an experience. I'm trying to take everybody from here to New York <laughs> and then come back so that we could just hold. Like, if everyone in Seattle spent some time in New York and just came back, you guys would hold your sports team more accountable. You guys yeah, would not fun. settle for not hey, no late night food. I love, I love all the teams. Niggas would be hot. Like, <laughs> oh, this is <laughs> what you can you could demand from a team. You could. Knicks fans boo the Knicks. Like, if you guys yeah. got on some like, Philly hey. fans be booing the, the, the basketball and football. They if, be booing their players. If the man, if Seattle fans got a little bit more of like, hey, guys, if you don't start performing, we'll Seahawks, fuck you up Seahawks after the fans, game. Seahawks fans be, I know. They, that's they, why, they when that's why we in the playoffs outs. every year. That's yeah. why we that's why we in the playoffs every year because they Russ knows he could get fucked up any day <laughs> if, he, if, if we miss a playoff. all those three jerseys. <laughs> man, I got oh, one. Fuck? I got a Russ jersey. You I'm know, like, man, make me proud, man. No, the Mar- you guys don't hold the Mariners or uh, the Sounders is the only team. Sounders and Sounders the begin, Storm, the storm man. be getting off. Uh, they be getting uh, off. They deserve all the town love because they be getting off. Everybody else, the Mariners, you guys need to fuck them up. My on. favorite, my my favorite thing is that the Seahawks got a ring at least. Fire. So it's like we're not one of them teams that don't got a ring. True. So it's just like you know, a lot of teams don't got a ring. I'm we, we ain't one of them niggas. <laughs> and we've been there three times. Like like you were saying, like 2005 we was there, and then 2013 and 14, like back to back. So it's like we, we, we've feel- been there more than a lot. You know. Fuck I'm it. I'll saying, take it. Fight. Just fight I think, I think Russ is going to get two more before, he, oh, easy. before he's done. Easy. It's not three. Uh, I want to see the Russ I need Mahomes. it all. I need the Russ Mahomes bowl. I need it all. Just to silence all that debate talk about Ooh. them too. Russ, um. Russ already beat Mahomes. Come on. <laughs> All right, my brother, Big Jones, <laughs> before I take us out, do you have anything else you want to share with the Groovy Tapes? Any upcoming projects or goals set in mind that you just want to leave us off with? Man, I uh, got a project coming out, superb, sometime this year. Uh, getting it all finished right now. Other than that, hope everybody stays safe. Wear your mask. I'm not wearing mine right now, but don't be like me today. <laughs> but, yeah, stay blessed. And you've been grooving with the South. This is KWJT. I'm chilling with Corey. You're tapping in with Tavares. We're sliding with Salon. And we're here with Big Jones. Gang, gang.